they were wasted, marrow, bones and all. And from their loins no hopeful branch may spring to cross me from the golden time I look for. And yet between my soul's desire and me is Clarence, Henry, and his young son, Edward, and all the unlooked-for issue of their bodies to take their rooms ere I can place myself. And say there is no kingdom then for Richard. What other pleasure can the world afford? <laughs> I'll make my heaven in a lady's lap and deck my body in gay ornaments. And which sweet ladies with my words and looks? Yeah. Miserable thought. And more unlikely than to accomplish twenty golden crowns. Why love forswore me in my mother's womb. She did corrupt frail nature with some bribe to shrink mine arm up like a withered shrub to make an envious mountain on my back where sits deformity to mock my body to shape my legs of an unequal size to disproportion me in every part like to a chaos. And am I then a man to be beloved Oh, monstrous fault to harbor such a thought. Then, since this earth affords no joy to me, but to command, to check, and to overbear such as are a better person than myself, I'll make my heaven to dream upon the crown. And yet I know not how to get the crown. For many lives stand between me and home. And from this torment, I will free myself or hew my way out with a bloody axe. Why, I can smile and murder while I smile and cry content to that which grieves my heart and wet my cheeks with artificial tears and frame my face to all occasions. Can I do this and cannot get a crown? Chat, were it further off, I pluck it down. Let's take up the corpse. Was ever woman in this humor wooed? Was ever woman in this humor won? I'll have her, but I'll not keep her long. What? I that killed her husband and his father, to take her in her heart extremist hate, with curses in her mouth, tears in her eyes, have God, her conscience, and these bars against me. And I nothing to back my feet at all. But the plain death and dissembling look, and yet the winner. All the world to nothing. <laughs> Upon my life, she finds, although I cannot, I still to be a marvel of proper man. <laughs> Shine out, fair sun, till I have bought a glass, that I might see my shadow. As I pass. <laughs> I must be married to my brother's daughter, or else my kingdom stands on brittle glass. Murder her brothers and then marry her. Thy name Tyrrell? James Tyrrell and your most obedient servant. Art thou indeed? Prove me, my gracious liege. Darest thou to kill a friend of mine? I am a lord, but I had rather kill two enemies. Why? There thou hast it. Two deep enemies. 
General, I mean those princes in the tower. Tis done, my gracious lord. But shall we hear from thee, Tyrrell, ere we sleep? You shall, my lord. Go. Packingham. My lord, I have considered in my mind the late demand that you did sell me in. Hmm? No, let it pass. Dorset has fled to England. I hear that news, my lord. Stanley? He is your wife's son. Well, look to it. My lord, I claim your gift. My due by promise, for which your honor and your faith is pawned. The earldom of Hereford and the movables, of which you did promise I should possess. Stanley, look to your wife. If she convey letters to Richmond, you shall answer it. What says your highness to my just demand? As I remember, Henry the Sixth did prophesy that Richmond should be king. My lord, your promise for the earldom. A bard of Ireland told me once I should not live long. After I saw Richmond, my lord. Hey, what the clock? I must bold to put your grace in hand, my lord. Hmm. But what a clock on the stroke of ten. Well, let it strike. Why let it strike? Because that like a jack, thou keeps the stroke betwixt thy begging and my meditation. I am not in a giving vein today. Why then resolve me whether you will or no? I am not in the giving vein today. Gentlemen, we take our leave. What you? Richmond is on the seas. They let him sink. Be the seas on him. White livered run against what got he there? He make for England. There to claim the crown. Is the chair empty? Is the sword unswayed? Is the king dead? The empire unpossessed? What heir of York is there alive but we? And who is England's king but great York's heir? March on! March on! Since we are up in arms, if not to fight with foreign enemies, yet to beat down these rebels here at home! <laughs>